we have a list of items, and we need to filter this sales table so that any time we find an item from this list over here, we need to filter that row out. Now, this is not a pure contains criteria situation, because down here, x, y, z, a, 1, that should remain because x, y, z is not a distinct element like it is in this record or this record. And the thing is, we need to do it in Power Query. We want to filter rows as we import the data. Well, of course, anytime we're talking about Power Query, that means our solution can be done in Excel or Power BI. <laughs>
we're allowed to have a list within a list. So the first one is that function right there. Then we type a comma. And then I type not. I can see from my drop down, it recognizes the list over here. So I'm going to hit tab, then close curly bracket. So what list.intersect needs is just what we gave it. One, two lists within list syntax. Now when I hit Enter, I get an error. Close parentheses. I forgot to close off that parentheses and Enter. Now we get a list only when there's an intersection. Look at that. There was AA here and AA over there. And that's what we're after. That's an empty set. That means there is no intersection. Nothing in this product name cell exists over here in this list. So our next trick is to convert each one of these lists we're going to ask the question, is the list empty? And that will deliver a true or false. And now we use list.isEmpty. And there it is, down arrow tab, open parentheses, delete, delete. And then I come to the end, close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, now I get a bunch of trues and falses. Now remember, this is a custom column, which we didn't need. We just did it so that we could see how each individual part of the formula was working. Now, table.addColumn, I really want table.selectRows. It'll get mad at us if we change this. Select rows. Now, it won't really get mad at us because it's just that we need two arguments. It's got to have the table to filter. That's the previous step. It doesn't need the second argument, which was the name of this extra column, which we're no longer going to have. Delete, 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 and there it is. Now that logical construction, which gives us a true or false for each row, will simply filter the table. Now when I hit Enter, that's the correct result. Now there's our single cell formula to filter the table. But let's think about this not criteria. That is actually referring to a list. And although it is a very small list, we actually could make both queries more efficient by coming back over to Not Criteria. And I know we right clicked and drilled down, and it automatically added this step. But let's come to Change Type, right click, Delete until End, Delete. And there's our code for importing an Excel table. And since that's a table, we can use our field access operators with the name of the column to extract a column as a list, not criteria. And when I hit Enter, now I have my list. Now we want to buffer the list, which means when we call it from this filter table query, it's not going to have to re-import the data for each row. I click F of X, and around source, I type list.buffer. And now when I hit Enter, I've added, if I F2 and rename this, buffer list and Enter. Now the name of the query hasn't changed. So now when we come over here, although it doesn't look any different, that not criteria is dealing with a buffered list. So it doesn't have to, for each row, re-import the data. Now I've already closed and loaded this as connection only. So I'm going to click Close and Load. Over here, I'm going to right click, Load to, Table. We'll say existing sheet H5, click OK. And now when I come over here and now add a space, now this one should be excluded. So right click, refresh. And now it is working. I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Bill Sizzis for that cool formula. Now stay tuned to next video. Next video, we'll actually see what to do if you want to do contains, not criteria. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick. Thank you.